Hello everyone, happy to see you here on my channel High Mathematics and really interesting main challenge today we have 4 to the power x plus 2 to the power x equal to 20. I feel a lot of students solve this question by inspection, but in math we should know what is the correct solution to this question. We are not interested in a solution by inspection, because we can't solve this question only in one line. We should know what is the correct solution to this question, and in this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we solve this really interesting, quick and relaxing challenge, and let's let's do this right now. First of all, we have exponential equation with different bases. We have 4, we have 2, it's really hard to work with this, so it is really great to create the same basis. So in this case, 4 and 2 is a really great number, because it's a really great value, and we can easily write this 4 as 2 square. Okay, so let's do this. So this 4 let's write as, as 2 square, so 2 to the power 2, and of course raised to the power x, because we still have x. Plus 2 to the power x, we still have this, and equal to equal to 20. Okay, and right now I want to show you this really great property and really great rule. Someone called this rule of interchange, but this is a really important rule for this question, for this particular question. Okay, for example, imagine if you have a to the power x to the power y, something like that, okay? Everyone knows that this is equal to a to the power x, x times y, as a product. Yeah, we can easily write it, so uh, uh, we can easily write it in this way. We can easily uh, not raise this, we can easily multiply this x times x times y. And right here, because of this multiplication, we can write this as a to the power y times x, because it doesn't matter, you have 2 times 3 or 3 times 2, all the time you have 6, yeah? So we can easily write it in this way. And moreover, we can easily write this as a to the power y raised to the power x. And if you look closely, x and y, we can easily swap on both places. So x can go outside and x can go inside parentheses. So x and y, we can easily swap. And let's apply this rule. Someone called this rule of interchange. I prefer not calling this rule of interchange. This is like a great power rule, okay? So right here, 2 and x, we can easily swap. Because of this rule, because of this property I show you here, okay? So x and y, we can easily swap this. x and y, and x and y, and y and x, we can easily swap this. So we will have like 2 to the power x to the power 2. We can easily swap this. And plus 2 to the power x equal to, equal to 20. Okay, I hope you understand this step. And right here, what we have? We have 2 to the x right here, we have 2 to the x right here, so it's really great to work with substitution, it is, re it is really important for us. So, for example, 2 to the x, I prefer use, I prefer use, for example, t, and of course, t is greater than 0, because this our, looks like exponential function, and it's never get uh, negative, negative, uh, negative roots, negative solution, and even 0, we can't uh, write this, uh, this is equal to 0, because only positive, doesn't matter, x can be negative wherever we want, but all the time, t is positive, this is really important step. So, right here, we have a quadratic equation, it looks like that, we have t square, yeah, so we have, we have t square, plus t and equal to equal to 20. Quadratic equation, and in this video I'm going to show you a really great theorem, Vieta theorem, it calls, someone calls it like that, so the sum of roots t1 plus t2 equal to minus b, and t1 times t2, I don't know that you know this theorem, I don't know exactly, but I prefer to use this theorem, someone uh, yeah, equal to equal to c. This is our theorem, and we can find this root from this interesting theorem right here. But before, let's create a quadratic uh, equation. So t square plus t and minus minus twenty. Yeah, we bring this from the right to left equal to equal to zero. So from here, this is the sum of roots so t one plus t two equal to equal to minus b minus one. Yeah, and a product t one times t two equal to equal to 20, so c, constant c right here, okay? Let's find this rule, the sum equal to minus 1 and the product equal to 20. Let's find this rule, let's think a little bit about this root, and of course we can easily find this root without any problem, so t1 equal to, so from here, from this system, t1 equal to 4, and t2 equal to, it looks like minus 5, yeah? Minus 5. Okay, if we add it we have minus 1, completely correct, and if we multiply we have we have uh, minus 20, yeah, we have right here minus 20, okay? So something like that. So this is our four, two roots, t1 and t2, so 4 and minus 5. So right now let's go back to our substitution, so 2 to the power x equal to t. So let's solve this question right here. So the first, the first uh, solution, 2 to the power x equal to 4, yeah? And of course x equal to 2 is our first solution to this challenge. And the second solution, 2 to the power x equal to minus 5, and from here, x is not, uh, we, can, we can't solve this because x 
should be positive and in this case t should be positive in this case 2 to the power x can cannot be negative so x is a complex complex root so complex 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 roots right here we have complex roots so let's write our answer right here so answer of course write your write your uh, answer about this theorem do you know about this theorem it is a really great theorem when you have like right here one as a coefficient one you can easily solve this question like that quickly without any discriminant so x equal to two is our first root by inspection this is easy for you but what about solution this is our solution and of course we have x x complex we will have complex roots complex complex roots for this complex root you should just solve this question 2 to the power x equal to minus 5 you will have a complex root okay this is my explanation to this challenge i hope you understand this i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely help me out for this particular video